Hello everybody. So today we're going to take a look at how to create a custom IDX link from your Acceleragent website. So the first step is going to be to get to your website. The simplest way to do this is to type in your domain name in the address bar at the top. You can see I've highlighted the address bar for my browser here. So once you type it in you'll see your website and you can see that my page is currently open here. The first thing we need to do is get into our toolkit. So we're going to scroll down to the very bottom of the page, click on the toolkit link, and that'll get us to the sign-in screen. Once we're here, you can just type in your password and log yourself right in. Now a custom IDX link is basically just a pre-built search where it updates with new properties found every single day. Unlike a standard search through our system, this is not saved to an individual contact. Instead what happens is you have the capability to take a link for this search and put it on your website, thereby providing the information from that search to anybody who visits your site. So once we're in the toolkit, we need to go first to MLS searches. It's this big blue link here in the center of the screen. So we'll click on that and then at the top you're going to see a number of different options here. The second one is new search and that's where we're going to go. If you have multiple MLSs, on the next screen what you'll see is the different MLSs that you're a member of. So go ahead and click on the appropriate MLS. Once you've done that, it'll take you to this screen where you're picking your property type. Each MLS will label them differently. We try to use the words that are used just like your MLS provides to us. So it should be pretty familiar to you. In this case, what I'm going to do is create a single family residence search. So I'll click on that link. I then get my normal search page. So basically what we're looking at here is what criteria do we actually need? For my search today, I'm going to go ahead and ask for active listings to be shown to me. And I'm going to ignore any features that I don't need for my criteria. The reason for this is because I want more properties to show. I don't want my custom IDX links to be limited because I need my clients to feel like they're getting valuable information from me even before they've given me any of their contact information. It's kind of a risk and reward, so feel free to play around with this if you need to. You can always go back and create another custom IDX. So for now, I'm just going to select an active property. I'm going to go ahead and say that it needs to be a three bedroom or higher. We'll say it needs to have two bathrooms. And then I'm going to pick my areas. Now recently, PropertyMinder released a new map search feature. This feature allows you to do shape drawing. Not only can your clients do this from the front of your website, but you can actually do this from the toolkit. I'm going to go ahead and use that for my custom IDX link. So I'm going to click on buy shape drawing. I'm then going to look at my map, and as you can see, it's a pretty big area. So what I need to do is zoom in on my map so that I can see just the area that I need for my search. and I'm gonna go ahead and limit my search to part of San Jose here so once I've done that I can click on the buttons at the top to either draw a polygon shape or a box I recommend that you draw a shape just because it'll give you some more control over what you're actually searching for once you click on the button and you hover your mouse over the map again you're gonna notice that I now have four black lines going out in either direction and a black dot in the center that's how you know that you're ready to start drawing your map what we need to do now is just left click on the map and when we left click you'll see that I now have a box this box signifies the first point for my shape I can move my mouse cursor to another spot on the map and click again and it'll draw a line and put another box down. This line has now become my first border. So basically we're just going to keep going through this process until we've gotten the search exactly how we want it. Now you can see that once I connected my very last box to my original box, the shape was completed. All of my borders are there. You'll also notice that I have some additional boxes that are between each of the points that I designated. This is so that you can fine tune your search. So if I know that my clients don't want anything that's south of 85, I can go ahead and actually drag this box up 
and make that border the appropriate border. Now again you'll notice that the boxes it'll split every single time. Once I click on that center box it believes that that is a new border. So just make sure that you're setting it up the way that you need to. Now that we've got our search above Highway 85, we'll go ahead and preview the search results on the map. Depending on the criteria of your search and how many properties were actually found, you may find that not all of the buttons show for them, but you should get a good idea of the number of properties that are going to be found. For the total number, look at the top there's going to be a small line of text that's going to say info colon and then the number of properties that were found matching your criteria if this is an acceptable search for you or you have some additional parameters you can enter those below we do have some new features that were added so you can expand each one of them at a time by clicking on the plus button to the left say for example I only wanted attached single families and we might even change this also I prefer to recommend to our clients that when you're creating a custom IDX link, you specify them so that they have to deal with your niche. What's going to separate you from every other agent that not only uses PropertyMinder, but just happens to live in the area or work in that area? In this case, I'm going to say that I want to work with short sales. So I choose my sale type, and I check the box that says short sale. Once I've finished that, I can now hit the Search MLS button. Notice that I'm not clicking to save the search. That's because we are not going to assign this to a contact. Once I hit Search MLS, I can see that by limiting myself to attached single families as well as to short sales, I've limited my results to 10. This is the only time where you will be able to edit this custom IDX link before it's created. If you need to make any changes, go ahead and do so. Just click the Back to Edit Criteria button. Let's go ahead and do that and remove our Short Sales button. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add REOs to this list. So you can see I've checked that sale type now. And I'll go ahead and hit Search MLS once again. For our purposes today, this list of 10 properties will work just fine. What we're going to do now is click on the blue link at the top left side of the screen. It says Create Custom IDX. If you'd like some more information about Custom IDX links, click on the blue link next to it in parentheses. It says What is Custom IDX? Once you hit the Create button, the site will ask you to name the search. So go ahead and give it a name. Keep in mind that this name will also be used as the name of the button as it appears on the left hand side of your website. Now below this there are two checkboxes. The first checkbox is going to allow you to automatically create this button on your website. This is a new feature that PropertyMinder just released <clears throat> and what it allows you to do is skip the step of the email. For those of you who are familiar with Custom IDX and may have created one with us before, you'll remember that once you create a Custom IDX link, you receive an email that allows you to add that as a button to either your website or it provides an additional link to use on a third-party service like maybe your blog or your Facebook page. In our new feature, what we have is the ability to just create it from scratch right then and there. We can also enable that button by checking the second box below. Finally, I'm going to hit the Create button, and that will create my link. Now, I do still receive the email, so if I need to use this link on another service, again, like Facebook or my blog, or even maybe you want to put it out as a Twitter link, that would be perfectly acceptable. So you can still do that. Just look for that email to get sent to you. It should take no more than five minutes. If you don't see it in your inbox, go ahead and check your junk or spam mail folders as well. Sometimes we can get caught in there. Let's go ahead and test out our link and see how it looks. What I'm going to do is click on my name in the top left corner of the screen. You'll see it; it's right above the log off button. This is going to show me my new refreshed version of my site. And as you can see on my links on the left hand side, my very last one is now called Active Short Sales. 
if we click on this link it'll take us to that page and we can see when it loads that I have a total of 10 properties shown. So that's it. That's all it takes to make a custom IDX link. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. The number is 1-800-743-5820, extension number 2 for support. Thanks for watching.